When your software creates routes for field service technicians, it must respect their shift start and end times. But how do you deal with overtime? And does the first drive or last drive count towards the shift duration? Let's take a look at how to handle the start and end of shifts in vehicle routing problems. Call works from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. On Monday, create a shift and set the minimum start and maximum end accordingly. Our solver AI fills that shift with three visits. Car leaves home at 9 a.m., services three customers and returns home at half past 4 p.m. His shift ends well before 5 p.m. This is a feasible schedule. On Tuesday, Carl is on vacation, so don't create a shift. Wednesday morning, he is still on vacation, but in the afternoon, he is available to work. Create a shift with a minimum start of 1 p.m. and a maximum end of 5 p.m. The solver assigns two visits in that shift, ending it at 5 p.m., just in the nick of time. What happens if his last visit is too late? For example, visit B ends after 5 p.m. and Carl returns home at 6 p.m. Our model penalizes the amount of time after the maximum end as a hard constraint to prevent this from occurring. But sometimes overtime is a good thing. To allow for two hours of overtime, set the maximum soft end at 5 p.m. and the maximum end to 7 p.m. Let's not make a habit of scheduling overtime. To minimize such overtime, but still allow it, our model penalizes the amount of time after the maximum soft end as a soft constraint. Sometimes a little bit of overtime can go a long way. For example, in this case, we need to visit two locations on an island reachable by ferry. Without overtime, it requires two shifts to service those two visits. The technicians take the ferry four times. With overtime, a single shift suffices, and the technician only takes the ferry twice. What if Carl's working time only starts when he arrives at the first customer? In this case, his travel to the first visit should happen earlier. Set the minimum first visit arrival to 9 a.m. Carl now leaves home at 8 a.m. and arrives at his first customer at 9 a.m. Be careful with this. The solver is incentivized to assign the long drives before the first visit, but Carl doesn't want to depart at 6 a.m. in the morning. To fix this, Add a minimum start of 7 a.m. Now the travel to the first visit mostly doesn't count. But in the case of the three-hour ferry, only the first two hours come from Carl's personal time. What if the travel time from the last visit doesn't count toward the shift? Same principle. Set the maximum last visit departure to 5 p.m. In this case, Carl arrives home at 6 p.m. But again, the solar might finish with a long drive and only get him home by 8 p.m. Not good. Add a maximum end of 7 p.m. The last drive mostly doesn't count. But if it's a long drive, Carl is still home in time for dinner. That's how shift start and end times work. Continue your journey with Timefold Academy.